Hello everyone. How are you all doing? Assalamu alaikum to all. I hope all of you are fine by the grace of Almighty. I'm also fine. And I'm going to introduce myself. I'm Ajatabur, a seventh grader, a student at Cassie Model School and College, as well as a TESOL learner. So today we are going to learn a very interesting topic. And our today's topic is about what can you guess and what can it be? Well, it's a very amazing. And everyone will think, oh, what's what? What is this amazing topic? Can you please tell us about that? Yeah, our today's topic is about some informal ways to say yes or no. So without any extra time wasting, extra talking, let's start our today's presentation. Well, at first I will share my screen and after that I will start my today's presentation. Yeah, you can see my screen. And well as, yeah, I have full screen tick and you will be able to understand that. So well, it's a very amazing topic, you think. Everyone will think, oh, it's a very easy topic, I know, but everyone should learn this topic because it's very essential for developing your confidence, your strongness, your clearness in English. And we use many words one by one, any words every day, every time, every year, every centuries, we use it every day. It feels boring to others, those who are speaking English. So we should learn to use the alternatives of those words. So now I'm going to tell you the first one. And the first one is, yeah. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you see, I'm, I'm also telling that, yeah, you can see dress. In our today's presentation, I'm telling you one alternative word of yes or no, and also with this word, I will make examples immediately because it will be able to understand or teach you correctly and clearly. The first one is, yeah. And if I make example regarding this, and it will be, yeah, you can talk about it, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Um, you got an eraser. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah, I have erased all my drawings. And as I'm talking that, well, here yeah, you can see, yeah, you can talk about it. Yeah, you can talk about it. Or you can also say, yeah, you can discuss about it. And our second one is yak, yak. Well, it's a very unfamiliar word. And we, I mean, very bit or not, everybody heard, him, heard this word, I think. Well, everyone should use this word from now on in saying, in case of saying any positive or yes questions. Well, I'm telling you the example regarding this word, yap. It is, yap, no doubt about it. Yap, no doubt about it. And number three is, mm -mm, mm -mm. well, it's a type of humming sound of yes or no, humming word, I think. Mm -mm. If I say you, a humming sound, then 
Well, everybody will feel in confusion. What? Which words? I mean, I'm saying. I want to feel confusion regarding it. And there is, um, it can be, actually, it will be photography. It will be photography. Yes, it will be for, oh, sorry, I have selected the wrong thing. As well, you, you know the spelling of photography. So I think you don't need to think about that. Well, I'm also typing it, no problem. It will be photography. Yeah, it will be photography. Yeah, you can see that I'm used a humming sound regarding it. Yeah. Let if you say another word. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Well, it's humming. I'm humming it, but its actual answer is mathematics. Mathematics. Well, you can see mathematics. We many Bangladeshi students, teachers, many professional people, many people. I mean, all the people of Bangladesh say it as mathematics. Mathematics. Well, you have to keep in mind that the tongue will be a little bit outside and your teeth will be at the little bit middle of the tongue. So then it will be, I mean, yeah, mathematics, 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 it's like this, mathematics. Well, yeah, I'm erasing it. Okay. And its example is, yeah. Oh, sorry. I'm saying another word. It will be. Mm -mm, I don't own this. Mm -mm, I don't want to buy this one. Mm -mm, I don't want to buy this one. Like this, you have to say it. And our next one is. Aha. 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 And it's a type of yes and no. Aha, what is this? What is this? Aha, it's a type of asking question, but it is regarded as a yes type of question. You're gonna use it as well. And this example is aha, what's this? Aha, I got you. We can make many examples regarding it. And our feet. One is shaw, 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 shaw. Well, many Bangladeshis say it as shior, shior, but it's not the correct way of pronouncing this word, shior. And its correct pronunciation will be like this, shaw, 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 like this. And is example I'm telling you, and that is, I'm sure that I saw him three years back. And you can see another example as well, and that is, sure, why not? Sure, any doubt about it? Sure, I will try my best to learn English properly. Right. You can say us, I mean, you can make many sentences regarding this. And our sixth one is nope, nope. Well, it's a type of negative question. You can use it as no. You can also say it as no. From now on, you should use the alternatives of no as like it. Then it will be better. Everyone will love to learn English from you. We love to hear your English language. Now, so as I'm talking and I'm making also example, it will be nope. I don't think so. Nope. I don't think so. I don't think so. We can say 
No, I don't want to go to outside. No, I don't want to study. No, nope. I don't want to. Um, I don't want to eat broccoli. But you can also say many example with noob. Now I'm going to the next one. And the next one is na. Na. Well, everybody will think that Bangla meaning is Bangla meaning this will be na. Bangla will be na. But actually, it are, I mean, English authority have to na. And its English meaning will be na. It's a type of Bengali feeling word. Everyone will feel it like a Bengali, I'm saying, but actually it is of English pronunciation. And it's a type of English word and its spelling is N-A-H, na. So an example is made regarding this and that is, na, I'm just kidding. Na, I'm just kidding. Na, I'm just kidding. Oh, you can also say another example. No, I'm just, uh, I mean, I'm mean, funny with you. Nah, I'm just doing a little bit work. Nah, I'm just, uh, actually, I'm will be, nah, I'm just playing. Nah, I'm just writing letter to my friend. You can see many examples. From now on, you can also use these alternatives of now. It's very beautiful to use it. And our next one is no way. No way. Well, uh, no way is also a word with adding way with no. No way. You can also say it as no is also the correct. And also you to use it a little better, but very bit or not everybody has heard it. And it is no way. We have used it a little bit. We don't use it every day. We use it only no, 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 no. But we should use it. And as I'm telling you the example, and it is example will be, he is in no way to blame. He is in no way to blame. It will be like this. And um, you can also say, he is in no way to play with you. Or you can say another example I'm telling, she is in no way to talk with you. And our ninth one is no, 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 no. No, no. Well, it's a type of word consisting double no's. I mean, two times no is used. It is also used most are in the natives, but also in the Bengali, it is used a little bit, but not so. Well, I'm telling you an example regarding it, and that is, no, no, don't do this. Or uh, no, no, don't touch this thing. It's a very harmful for you. No, no, don't go to unusable places. No, no, don't mix with the good boy. Sorry, uh, no, no, don't mix with bad boys. And our last and final one is Yasha. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Well, you have learned the show in the previous one. I mean, in the previous one, you have learned it previously. I have shown you the show part. And with show, there's ya. Yeah. Ya yeah is used, right? Yeah. Well, I'm making an example regarding this word, yeah, show. Sure. Well, it's a type of, actually, it's a type of yes and yes. You can also use it mostly because it is also an alternative way. It is very good to use and it is very amazing. Actually, I use it most in my talkings. 
And also, I, yeah, I use the other, I mean, use the other informal ways of saying yes and no, because the all the thing, all the words, all the informal ways of saying yes and no that I've shown you, I used it all of them in my talkings because they helped me to learn English, to talk in English, to write in English properly, correctly, beautifully, nicely. Oh, I forget to tell you the example of Yasha. Well, and it is, yeah, sure, dad, I will invite him. Yeah, sure, mom, I will go to market to buy vegetables. Yeah, sure, dad, I'll go with you. I think all of you have understand about those informal ways to say yes or no. Well, I'm zooming this so that you can understand properly. Yeah, you can see it or you can take a screenshot and also you can write in your notebook and practice those words and use those words every day in your daily talkings in English. So that's all about, about today's presentation. And I hope all of you have liked my presentation. So don't forget to share with others because this is very essential for the Bengali peoples because they mostly their English language is a very wrong way to learn English. We should learn English properly and also clearly. So I hope all of you like this video. Don't also don't forget to like my video, share and love it. And I say bye bye from me to all. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Bye to all. Have a nice day.